I'm gonna try to like do some video of me reading the Bible. Um, okay, I'm reading chapter five in Galatians. So stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled. Be not tangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I Paul say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that do be that is that is circumcised that he is adept to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are falling from grace. For we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus, for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. <clears throat> Maybe I should turn it around. <laughs> Do I get it in the wrong direction? No, I don't. <clears throat> It says, ye did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? With a question mark. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven loveth the whole lump. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he or she may be. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision which do... Why do I yet suffer persecution? Question mark. Then is the offense of the cross seized a period. I would they were even cut off which trouble you. For brethren ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love serve one another. <clears throat> for all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say there, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye are led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, uncleanliness, or uncleanness, Lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings of such like of thee which I tell you before, as I have told you, also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk. Let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. It says, let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, nor envying one another.